welcome to another episode of Milserp Surprise. My name is Jacob and tonight we'll be doing a random Milserp Surprise because I know you've seen the uh, thumbnail and you're thinking, oh, what's in the box? So uh, what is in this box? Well, because it came from the EU, I had to order quite a bit to, uh, to get the free shipping. So uh, it's not a $20 Milserp Surprise, but all the contents should be about $20 a piece, so we'll have a look at what's inside. So we have the Shipping bill, leading. Uh, there's quite a bit in there. Um, I didn't think the box was big enough to cover everything I bought, but it appears to be. Uh, some of it's going to be new, some of it's going to be used. So, we'll just have a look and uh, hope for the best. So, this appears to be brand new UTV um, East German uh, harness. So that's as expected. I can tell you that these are becoming hard to find, but they're um, they're hard to find. If you see them on eBay, they're going to be expensive. Tell you what I paid for those. Um, new, um, 10 euros, almost 10 euros. Okay, this has something in it. <laughs> okay, we have a Makarov holster. Uh, no, comes with it. Oh, it's got Cosmoline on it. The cleaning rod. Yuck. Cosmoline is hard to get off, as the viewers most likely know. So, the Makarov holster looks new, so this should go with a uh, 1965, uh, the M65 outfit. Oh, more stuff in here. Uh, this is a uh, East German fork and spoon set. I had that thrown in because it was something like two euros, I believe. Uh, two ninety-five. Again, something that you should always have in your pack. And this should be a. Uh, tent peg, um, this is for the, uh, the Zeltbond tent pegs. Seems a little bit large, but we'll have to put everything together and have a look. A UTV belt. Looks like this one might fit. It'll fit if I extend it, I think. So th this is a uh, UTV uh, gas mask bag, so I should be able to use that with uh, both setups, it's just the bag itself. So there are a ton of these helmets on the market right now. and. Uh, Got some bandages. I had those thrown in because they were three euros or so. Some suspenders for the trousers. And it looks like I am short one bandage. Uh, 
it only says one, but I thought I would too. Um, this is the helmet net, obviously brand new. Interesting little keeper for that. Now the people I ordered this helmet, all the stuff from, said there was no sizes on the helmets. Now I disagree, but uh, I don't know where the size is on this, so. Yeah. It may be rough, but this is strange. Again, I thought I ordered more than just one of these belt loops. Um, Really, if you have uh, if you've experienced World War II German uh, web gear, you need as many as these as possible. I swore I ordered three of those. But... Of course, the packing list only says one. So yeah, if somebody could tell me where the size is on these, that would be great. Um, obviously the, the liner hasn't been attached. It's the no rivet model. Looks like it's had some beating around. Okay. So this should complete my set of uh, both sets of East German equipment. I'll be able to use some uh, components for both, such as a shovel. I'll use it for both the 65 pattern and the uh, UTV. Um, and I'll be doing a uh, future video of the two sets side by side to show the complete um, uniforms um, as I will be using them. So if you like this content, let me know. Again, my email is always at the end, so you can send me an email or leave the comments below. Um, until next time.